Hey, how's it going? Um, I don't know if I've got the right number or not, but uh, can I put my kayak in Bass Lake today? Alrighty, thank you. You too. No personal watercraft in Bass Lake. Time for alternate plans. Um, but I did find another lake. Uh, that we're gonna go explore Lake Johnson. So I'll see you there. We are on the water. So our original plan of Bass Lake uh, failed to work out for us today. No personal watercraft, you had to rent one of their own and I'm like, nah, man, I got my own. So here we are on Johnson Lake, Raleigh, North Carolina. $4 to put your boat in here if you are a Raleigh resident. Also $4 to put your boat in here if you lie about being a Raleigh resident. So look at that. Uh, $6 if you are not a Raleigh resident. So it's still a pretty good deal. Alright. Let's go catch some fish. Any luck? Yeah? What are you fishing with? Alright. Well, tell me if you catch anything. Yeah. Got here. Brand new spool reel. Brand new mini uh, rooster tail or whatever it's called. So, that's the first cast of the day. Water's pretty deep here. Wind's blowing just a little bit. So we'll see what we can do. The only one out here, huh? It's a wilderness systems boat of sorts. a guy who's caught a four pound crappie apparently out of this lake. We'll find out. He said chartreuse is the way to go. So I've rigged up the single most chartreuse grub that I could possibly find. We'll see what happens. Alright, so I fished this whole little area past this bridge thoroughly. Now I gotta get to the other side of that bridge. But, the trick is I think that bridge is too low for me to paddle under. So. Here goes nothing. 
color apparently and the wind is blowing against this bank. Everything I know about fishing tells me that if there's a fish in this lake I should catch it. Somebody's lost a little spoon up here in this tree. And I think their loss is going to be my game. I wonder how long it's been there. Yeah, this guy would be mine. Very similar to what I use, it's just not a treble hook. I just filled up with gas, heading home now, and I thought I could talk about the day. Because so there's a few things that I've learned uh, recently, very recently, past, you know, couple of days just doing the YouTube thing. And the number one thing I learned is I talk way too dang much. So, I mean, I cut out a ton of the stuff that I had in the last video. Of just me yapping and yapping and yapping. I was like, nobody wants to hear this. So, I... Uh, decided to do a lot of cinematic shots uh, hopefully you'll see the improvement between this video and the last one I did the one at Panther Lake 
Uh, didn't fish as well as I wanted to today, but uh, I, you know, the fishing will come. It's the middle of December. We had a cold front move through yesterday. Um, it, well, I guess it's late December, but anyway, we had a cold front move through yesterday. So um, fishing, I knew wasn't going to be that great, but I, you know, I figured I'd catch one little oddball hanging out where it wasn't supposed to be, and that is exactly what happened. So. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to smash that subscribe button real hard. Uh, I got three subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you three, it's made my night. You know, my father's one of them, but the second I got my second subscriber, I called him and was like, this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened. Somebody else actually wants to watch these videos. So, uh, smash the subscribe button. Uh, hit the like button for me. That only takes a second. Come on now, hit the like button. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate uh, your time watching this video. Hopefully I'll crank out some more. It's going to be a little while. I've got a friend coming down from Ohio, so me and her are going to hang out for New Year's and all that. But uh, hopefully other than that, I'll get a couple more cranked out before I have to head back to school. All right, y'all. Take care. Tight lines.